So first things first, we're gonna disassemble the, the pump. This is another, again, with these, um, with these particular setups, when they don't, they aren't greased from factory, you really have to grease them. They're completely dry. You wait, it, I don't know what it is, but again, you wait one more season, they're all gonna be sticking, especially in salt water. So, always keep on top. You won't have less problems. And with the kit that I always get, it um, comes with new mounting bolts, so we can get rid of those, and a new cup housing. that in there tap it out so this will show you if it's if it if the engine overheated you'd see this part of the housing all melted o-rings sometimes if it does get hot the o-ring will get stuck in here and you always have to clean this little trough here so you can put a new o-ring back in it and there's the other o-ring that slides into there see it when I reassemble it but everything looks pretty good it's not cracked sometimes if these get too old they'll start to crack on the on the interior walls so save that impeller has a pretty good curl to it and the leading edges you'll see they're worn so this is gonna go too um, it's really nice the Yamaha when you have like these little indentions and all these little peaks on the very bottom side, this, you could tell that this engine hasn't been under overheat because these little peaks will be flattened and melted. And then that's when you know that it's, uh, it has been uh, compromised or, or has been blocked from water and it'll get hot. So water pump is gonna come with your, obviously an impeller, the gaskets, the plates, and the bolts, and a new uh, cup. and all the o-rings this particular setup the 250s also have them also um i think it's 2016 and newer are going to have this particular uh six charlie edward water pump kit so these seals are for the uh the housing so water pressure doesn't escape the output of the housing. You got four new mounting bolts. Always grab your serial number and your model number when you call in to, to, uh, to get parts. That's gonna help your, your rep um, get you the right, right parts to you. So everything's almost the same, but a little different. This is the big O-ring for the water pump housing. These are the two dowels. I'm gonna put these in now because they tend to roll away and disappear, so. Not these, I'll start them just a little bit. They're not completely in yet, but don't drop them. They're a pain in the butt to get back out. So then I'll just do a little tap, get them in there. That'll help you hold the plate and the gasket. So here's the gasket. And I did scrape off the old gasket. There wasn't anything left behind, so. Put that right there, everything lines up. And then here's the other, and here's the plate right here. Make sure you get the right kit because it won't fit if it's not the right kit. And here's the other O-ring for the water pump housing. And the six Charlie Edward water impeller. That's all there. It's kind of nice. The Yamaha is so much better. Don't use any aftermarket stuff. It's not good for your engine. Woodruff key. It's kind of tough to do, you know. If you haven't done it all the time, it. I'd say a prayer. I'll get really close. There we 
it is. Got lucky with that one. Try to make sure that that key's sitting there perfect because if not, you're gonna have a hard time sliding that impeller on. So now we got the impeller. Impeller's really nice. It's got like a little slot right there, right? And then if you can't see it from the bottom, it's got like a little, squ a little square indentation to show you where you're at, which is really nice. Don't get that with the aftermarket stuff. Let's see, and then just give it a little twist, slides on. Press down on the plate, make sure it's got enough pressure and it's not holding up. So there's that. Cool. Um, I like to usually just put this on first after get the impeller on. Greasing up the bolts. Now we'll get into those seals that are in the in the housing. This is the only model that usually comes with all that kit with the kit for that. I'll just pop them out. Make sure you just touch the seal, not the not the surface that it's laying on, because then you'll have a hard time putting it in. And again, seals are facing up. Give them a little grease. All right. And then we'll push them in with the socket. They don't go in with too much effort. You don't have to really press them or tap them or anything, not these. As long as you grease them up, they should be, uh, should be pretty nice to come in. Don't forget to put this back on. Snaps into place. Um, I'm always generous with the grease on this section here. I'll fill up the little trough where the O-ring's supposed to be sitting in, and I'll, I'll, I'll layer the sides for the hot, for the cup. Give it some. Uh, let it let it sit there so it attaches, and I just push the O-ring inside the trough, and that holds it real nice. I don't use, I don't like using glues or sealants to hold things like that in. And there's a, there's little dowels, these little dowels here to fit, to get, to slide right into the cup. So it'll lock into place and it, it should be flush into there. See that? Now it's nice and flush. It's not uh, protruding. And then I'll top this little trough out. Showing you all my secrets. There you go. Now that trough is full of grease. And that's going to really help us put this back on. So I'll just start to... And you can see how the grease pops out where the O-ring stays for us. And look at that. The, the O-ring will stay in there. Greasing all the threads with the mounting bolts. For the water pump housing. There you go, there's that. And take this. I'll set them up. Put them, I always get them ready. That. I'll get a towel grab the splines because it's, it's really hard to turn the splines without a good grip. And then I'll turn it clockwise and press down at the same time. And everything, if you hold it straight, everything just pops right into place. If the O-ring pops out, you will be able to see a space before you fasten it down, but you'll be able to see a space but it went in nice and smooth. So 